Pika clones. Cute little electric type rodents that are designed to replicate Pikachu. We have had one every single generation since Gen 3, or Gen 2 if you count Pichu. Since Gen 5 though, Pika clones have begun getting secondary types. Except Pommy, for some reason. So let's find out what a Pika clone of every type might look like. Hey everyone, Brandon here. So, Pika clones. Personally, I love them, especially Dedenne and Togedemaru. As I said in the intro, there are currently... <laughs> get it? Currently? Anyway, half the Pika clones have a secondary type. Flying with Amolga, Fairy with Dedenne, Steel with Togedemaru, and Dark with Morpeko. And of course, Pure Electric type is covered by all the other Pika clones. That leaves 13 types for us to fill, so let's get to work. Let's begin with some Pika clones by my good friend Michael, aka Michael Ryan on YouTube and Mikamon Regions over on Instagram. Michael has made two Fakemon Regions and thus two Pika clones. Starting us off is the Ice type. And for that, we have Shakaru from Michael's Fearin region. This long boy is based on the Stoat. While the Stoat is not a rodent, it is a Mustelid, which are fairly similar to rodents in appearance. There will be more Mustelids and other animals similar to rodents for other Pika clones in this video, so just be prepared for that. Shakaru's Ice type inspiration can be pretty clearly seen from the Stoat's winter coat and general habitat. Its name comes from Shaku and Chiru. These words are an example of a Japanese concept called Gairaigo, or loan word, where a foreign word will just be translated using katakana. For example, milk is miruku, so Shaku is shock and and Chiru is chill. Didn't think you'd be getting a Japanese lesson when you opened this video, did you? Shakaru are often found burrowing in fear and snowy tundra, and they will hunt at night by using electricity stored in their cheeks to find and stun their prey. Next is the poison type. For this, we have Pikiboru from Michael's Liwika region. This spiky little dude is based on the Lowland Streaks Tenrek. And by god, do they look like a real life Pika clone. This is one of those animals you just look at and think, yep. That was destined to be a Pokemon. The poison typing comes from its other inspiration of poison tipped arrows, with Pikiboru able to shoot out its quills like said arrows. Pikiboru's name is another example of Gairaigo, in which it comes from Supaiki, meaning spiky, and Boruto, meaning bolt. Pikiboru stores electricity in its cheeks and poison in its quills, which make it particularly difficult to cuddle with. Instead, you could cuddle up with some Pokemon plushies, brought to you by today's sponsor, Baiyi. Baiyi is a Japanese proxy service that allows you to buy several different items from Japan. With access to Yahoo Japan auctions and shopping, Mercari, Amazon JP, and now Japanese eBay as well. Whether you're looking for some Japan-exclusive Pokemon plushies, cards, figurines, or other cool merch like Pokemon Converse, Baiyi has you covered. They even have a browser extension that allows you to shop on websites like Amazon JP or Toys R Us Japan and check out through Baiyi. When you sign up now using my exclusive link, you can get a 2,000 yen coupon, which roughly translates to $15. That's five or six packs of the Japanese Lost Origin TCG set that won't be released in the US until September for free. So sign up now and go get yourself some awesome Pokemon goods and that 2,000 yen coupon for using my link when you do. Thanks so much to Baiyi for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to some Pika clones. For the rock type, we have Sagald from Aedas Fakemon. That's a round little guy if I've ever seen one. Sagald is based on gold and the collared Pika, also known as the Rock Rabbit. The gold part of its inspiration comes from the fact that gold is a great conductor of electricity. Its name comes from Naki Usagi, which is the Japanese word for Pika, AU, which is the symbol for gold on the periodic table of elements, and gold. Sagald are very elusive and hard to find, with them being on high alert due to their great hearing and vision. They will flee at the first sign of danger. Due to their appearance, they are easily mistaken for real gold. It is said that if you hit Sagald while mining, that you are cursed to find only fool's gold forevermore. Next up is the ground type. For this, we have Jirasuna by Masisos region. It is based on ground squirrels and luchadors. Its name comes from Jirisu, which is ground squirrel in Japanese, and Suna, which means sand. Jirasuna can communicate with others by sending energy into the earth with its tail, which it can also use as a means of digging. That's one handy tool. Or I guess I should say that's one handy tail. Get it? Because it's shaped like a hand? Haha. <laughs> For the normal type, we have my own Pika clone from Cornera, Denkibi. It is based on field mice and speaker systems, playing into the whole idea of normal types having sound-based moves and designs like the Xblout line. Its name comes from Chibi and Denki. OMG, like Denki Carminari from My Hero Academia? No, like Denki, as in the Japanese word for electricity or light. Where do you think he gets his name from? Looking at you, comment section. Denkibi can use its impressive ears to detect sounds from miles away. 
Now, for the water type, we have Ampibera by Costadex. Its name is a mixture of Ampere, the base unit for an electrical current, and Capybara, which is what it's inspired by. A Capybara is a large semi-aquatic rodent native to South America. The semi-aquatic nature of this rodent is what inspired Ampibara's water typing. Ampibara can turn the force of a river current into electrical energy that it stores in its cheeks. Most of the time, you can just find them lounging around and swimming peacefully. For the grass type, we have Hadashiku from Apo Fakemon. Hadashiku is based on voles and graminiae plants, which is the family that includes wheat. Hadashiku creates pollen from its tail that can cause you to sneeze, but also causes little electric shocks. It is actually allergic to its own pollen, so it makes itself sneeze and spreads the pollen around even more. Hadashiku's name comes from Hatsunezumi, meaning vole, and Shikushiku, the Japanese onomatopoeia for sneezing. Next is the fire type, and representing this is Kokenki from Fake Mans. Kokenki is based on the Koka, which is a marsupial found off the coast of Western Australia. They are incredibly photogenic, and they aren't really scared of humans, so people love taking selfies with them. Kokenki's name comes from Koka, duh, and Denki. OMG, like Denki coming up! While Kokenki's cheeks store electricity, the pouch on its belly stores sunlight and turns it into energy, making it incredibly happy and pleasant to be around. If you've made it this far into the video, chances are you like what you're watching, so make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to help support this channel and keep up to date with future videos. For the next two, we have a couple by Tubbs AZ. First, for the psychic type, we have Mogurai. Its name comes from Hari Mogura and Rai. Hari Mogura is the Japanese word for echidna, which serves as Mogurai's main inspiration. Its secondary inspiration is electric receptors. Mogurai has poor eyesight, so it uses its highly receptive nose and quills to detect even the slightest movement. It can also use its quills to deliver powerful shocks when threatened. The basis of Mogurai's psychic typing is its extrasensory perception of things. Next up is the ghost type, and be prepared to be a bit spooked by this one guys, because here is Chumera. Chumera is a hodgepodge of all the Pika clones stitched together. It has the tail of Pachirisu, the face and ears of Dedene, the cheek pouch of Minen, and the ear of Plusle and Minen stitched together, the chest of Morpeko, the wings of Amolga, and the belly and feet of Togedemaru. No one knows how it came to be or where it came from, only that it's as rare as it is terrifying. For the bug type, we have Marmota by An Artist Astray. It is based on the Himalayan marmot. But Brandon, I hear you say, what does a marmot have to do with bugs? Well, my fine uninformed friend, way, way back in 430 BC, the Greek historian and geographer Herodotus wrote in his book Histories of a particular creature called the gold-digging ant that lives around the Himalayas. Herodotus described them as fox-sized furry ants that would dig up gold dust while creating their mounds and tunnels. Skip forward to 1964, and French explorer Michel Pesel discovers that the Himalayan marmot found in the Deosai Plateau may have been what Herodotus was referring to. As the marmots dig their burrows in the plateau, soil which is rich in gold dust. So there you have it, a marmot mixed with an ant based on an eons old myth. Mermoda's name comes from the genus Mermoda and Mermikis, which means ant in Greek, playing into the myth's Greek origins. Also, you could squeeze Mata in there, as in the Japanese Osaka dialect, it means done by mistake, just like how Herodotus was mistaken about the gold digging ants. Mermoda live in colonies underground and can use their antennae to find buried treasures such as precious minerals and gold. Next up, we have one that was a bit of a challenge to create, the dragon type. For this, we have Kiraigao. Kiraigao is based on the Mighty Mongoose and the Rami Drehu. The Rami Drehu is of Cantabrian myth and is a green weasel-like creature with the snout and tusks of a boar. They have a long, snake-like body and a strong desire for gold. What else can have a slender, snake-like body and love gold? Dragons! The reason I picked the mongoose as an additional inspiration is that some species of mongoose are very similar to weasels. But also, mongoose are famous for fighting snakes. Many dragons are snake-like, and dragon is weak against dragon, so it made sense to me. Kiraigo is often found in old abandoned castles or deep in caves, hoarding mounds of shiny treasures. It is said that if you can find and catch one, you will earn its fortune. Kiraigo's name comes from Kira Kira, the Japanese onomatopoeia for sparkling, like Kiraigo's sparkling treasure, Rai meaning thunder, and Gao, which is the onomatopoeia for roaring. Last but certainly not least, for the fighting type, we have none other than Gerbolt from True Green 7's A Sown Region. Gerbolt is based on the Gerboa and superheroes. A Gerboa is a desert rodent found in North Africa and the Middle East with long legs that it can use to move around similar to a kangaroo, and has these adorable giant ears and cute button eyes, perfect for a Pika clone. 
Gerbolt doesn't just look like a superhero, but acts like one as well. It will do its best to save others and fight evildoers. Though, it's all in an effort to become more popular. Gerbolt loves the attention, and waits until it can make a perfect grand entrance. Even sometimes to the detriment of those it's trying to save. It can jump 100 feet in the air and use its cape-like fur to slow its fall. It can also use its tail like a grappling hook. If it wasn't obvious, its name comes from Gerboa and Bolt. And that's a Pika clone of every type. Let me know what you think and which one was your favorite. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to help support this channel and keep up to date with future videos. A huge thank you to all the amazing creators that let me show off their work. Make sure to check them out in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and with that, I will see you guys next time.